Right, so maybe you've got a D-Link 2750 router lying around and you want to use it maybe to expand your network. So maybe your network looks something like this. You've got your main router which connects to the internet. Maybe you've even got a switch and you've got a couple of PCs. But there's a further section, maybe an uh, outdoor guest house, maybe an outdoor room, maybe a, by the pool area or maybe a section of your house or your business which is not quite in range of your main router so you just want to add an access point so in this video i'm going to show you how to use the dsl 2750 as an access point basically to extend your network so that would mean you currently have a main router now you don't do anything to the main router you leave that router as is but you will need to find out that router's ip address the internal ip address so just getting back to this uh, diagram here, the main router in your business or your home, you need to log into that one to get the IP address or at least find that IP address. Now to find that IP address is quite easy. All you'll need to do is you'll say CMD and you type IP config forward slash all. And uh, there you can see already the gateway default gateway there it is 10.0.0.2 so what that's telling me is if I want to exit my network I need to go via the uh, device that's sitting at 10.0.0.2 so having a look here if I'm sitting over here if I want to get out of my network and browse the internet I need to go via 10.0.0.2 which means the main router or the router that's allowing you to get to the internet is sitting at 10.0.0.2 now you need to note that address now using the login of the D link DSL 2750 you'll need to log into that router so that means you need to have the default username and password for that router now here you can see I have already got this on the network it is sitting at 10.0.0.254 and then it's got the logon screen now what you'll need to do is you'll have to make sure that you set the IP address of your D-Link 2750 in the same range as the IP address of your main router the router which is the uh, one that gives you access to the internet on my case was 10.0.0.2 which means that your D-Link has to be in that same range for example if your main router was 192.168.1.1 then your D-Link would have to be 192.168.1. something else maybe 254 so it's very important that you match the class of the routers and how you do that is you come to the setup tab, you press local network, and then you give your D-Link, the one that you want to use to extend your network, you give it an IP address in the same range. In this case, it's 10.0.0.254. That's what I've given it. If you are unable to get to this step and log in to your D-Link, that means that you are either on the wrong IP address range yourself, meaning that your local PC which you've plugged into the D-Link uh, that either does not have an IP address or it's in the wrong range. So you can allocate an IP address in the same range so that the D-Link can see you or what you could do is you could default the D-Link router and press the default button on the back of it and then it will take it to the default settings. And on some of the D-Links the default setting is then will we'll take the IP address to 10.0.0.2. So maybe you had one of these dealings lying around and somebody had changed the IP address, you can't log in. Well, then you could also default it. Once you default it, just make sure that your local PC is in the same range so that when you plug in, you can get to the login screen. Right, now from here, I'll tell you how to set it up. What you gotta do is just give the router, uh, the router an IP address that you want. So this is, I'm gonna be called mine, the 10.0.0.254. Now, once you've done that, you need to tell the router that it's almost like a relay so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here and normally the router would act as a dhcp server which means that it would be the router that allocates ip addresses to everyone on the network we don't want to do that because i already have a main router on the network and in this case it happens to be a huawei b315 so if you have a look at my little diagram that would be my huawei b315 which acts as the main router giving me access to the internet so that's my 10 
10.0.0.2 and this uh, access point here is going to be my D-Link 2750. So the D-Link does not need to allocate IP addresses. The IP addresses are still going to come from the main router. In my case, it's the Huawei. So what I want to do is I want to tell the D-Link do not allocate IP addresses. So I've switched that off. You can see before it was there and I had an IP address range where I was allocating uh, IP addresses. Maybe I was allocating from there all the way to there and with the least time. So you don't want that. What you want is to enable DHCP server relay. What that means is you're telling the router, allow the main router to feed through you, the D-Link, and allocate the IP addresses. So that means that my Huawei, the main router on this network, is still going to be in charge of allocating the IP addresses. So that's why you need to say enable DHCP relay. But here's why in the beginning of the video I said you need to know the IP address of the main router, the router that's giving you access to the internet. And there it is. That is the 10.0.0.2 IP address. Where did I get that from? Well, that is the main router that is giving me access to the internet. Just looking at the diagram, that would be the 10.0.0.2 router and the access point i've just given it an ip address it could be anything uh in the same range and i've just called it 10.0.0.254 so once you've done that say apply and let the router reboot note the address of the d-link because that is how you log into it for future configuration right now let it reboot and now what you'd want to do is two more things the first thing is the internet setup can you see here there is nothing set up here on the WAN. Normally you may have your VPI, VCI and you've got a little connection set up here for your router. I have deleted all of them. So you should have nothing here. If you've got any WAN setups here, tick them and delete them. This is what it needs to look like for this D-Link to act as an access point. Now once it looks like this, we go to the next step. 3G internet setup. Again, nothing should be here. If you had a 3G dongle that was plugged into the USB, unplug it and delete any of the settings that were sitting here. So basically, we're forcing the D-Link to have no access to the internet through itself, meaning that the D-Link now sees that its job is not to access the internet. Its job is literally to relay just acting as a relay, right? Now the last step is just to set up the wireless. Remember that if you look at my diagram, we want this D-Link to act as a wireless access point. So we need to give it a wireless uh, SSID and username and password. So now we just walk through the manual or you could use the connection wizard so you could go here and now you just set up your network ssid whatever you want to call it and then you'll uh, set up your key so i'm calling mine wool in, wool in sheep this is my network key this is quite complicated maybe you don't want something so complicated like that um, so i will set up it manually so that people will be able to remember it maybe you want to all right, so there we go, sheep three exclamations, and then I go next. And what it's going to do is it's going to set up a wireless access uh, point for me to access the network via wireless devices. And I will just use the uh, password that I've just shown you, the sheep three exclamation, and the uh, SSID will be wolf in sheep. That's the name of that address. Right, keep in mind that I have a dedicated Ethernet cable connected to my DSL router. Right, so I have used the DSL 2750 to extend my network, but how did I connect to the DSL 2750 from the main router? I used an Ethernet cable. So this video is for that layout. All right, so there you can see the router out in the garden area and there's a close-up showing you the Ethernet plugged in. So I extended my network by plugging in an Ethernet cable from the already present network which came from the main router and then I used the DSL 2750 as a wireless access point so wireless clients can access the network in this remote location. Thanks for watching. Cheers.